Hi, Tim. Do you want to grill some steaks tonight? Hi, Dan. Steaks sound delicious. They are on sale at the market. Should we invite some friends? Okay, who? How about Sandy and Linda? Okay, but Linda is a vegetarian. What is a vegetarian? A vegetarian is a person who does not eat meat. Oh, maybe we should invite someone else. How about Susie? Okay, let's invite Sandy and Susie. I will go to the market and buy four steaks. What else should we eat? How about potatoes and salad? Okay, I will go to the market now. Can you call Sandy and Susie? Sure, Dan. Why aren't you leaving? What's wrong? It's raining. What should we do? We can still barbecue. We have a covered yard. Okay, I'll be back soon. I hope the weather gets better. I hope so too. I feel so bad for Mary. Me too. I can't believe her husband died. They were married for a long time. I know. What is she going to do now? I don't know. Does she have any children? No, I don't think they had any children. How about other family members? I think she had one sister, but she passed away several years ago. So she's all alone now. Yeah, isn't that sad? Yes, it is very sad. She is always so nice to everyone. I think we should all get together and do something nice for her. I like that idea. What should we do? Let's take turns helping her around the house. Great idea. We can take care of her yard, help clean her house, and bring her meals. I love this. Let's talk to the other neighbors soon. Hey, Billy. Do you want to come over after school? Hey, Mark. No, I have to finish my chores. I didn't do them all week, so now I have to do them all today. What do you have to do? Rake the yard and clean my room. Is that going to take a long time? Have you seen my room? It looks like a tornado went through it. Why didn't you clean it before? I hate cleaning. Do you have chores? Yeah, but I try to finish them as soon as possible. You're smart. Now I have to spend Friday afternoon doing chores. That's too bad. I got a new video game I wanted to show you. Do you want to help me with my chores? No way. I'm going to enjoy my Friday afternoon. Well, I better get to work, or I'll be doing it after dinner too. Finish your chores earlier next time. I know. I say that every week. Hi, Janet. Where are you going with those books? To the library. I found these under Joseph's bed. Under his bed? Yeah, they are all overdue. How did you find them? We got a notice from the library that he had several overdue books, so I started searching his room. How late are they? About two months. Didn't you receive notices before? I found the notices in his room too. Why didn't he return them? He said he couldn't find them. Is he in trouble? Of course he's in trouble. He doesn't get to play video games for each book that is late. That's five weeks. Yes, that's his punishment. He needs to learn not to hide letters that come in the mail. He also needs to learn to clean his room so things don't get lost. What's wrong, Phil? Hi, Mark. Our dog Rusty is lost. Someone left the backyard gate open, and he got out. Oh no! Let me help you find him. Thanks. My daughter is so upset right now. Have you called the local dog shelters? Yeah, they haven't seen him. They said they would call me if they find our dog. Does he have any identification on him? Yeah, he's wearing his dog tag, and he's also microchipped. That's good. Should we make some flyers to post around the neighborhood? My wife is doing that right now. How old is Rusty? He's four years old, and he's brown with white spots. I know what he looks like. Oh, that's right. I'm not thinking straight. I'm just worried he was stolen or is injured somewhere. I understand. He's part of your family. Yeah, he's a big part of our family. We got him when he was a little puppy. 
Hey, Phil, there he is. Rusty, come here, boy. Hi, Carol. You look tired today. I am tired. I didn't get any sleep last night. Why? Our neighbor's dog would not stop barking. He barked all night long. That's awful. Did you complain to your neighbor? I knocked on his door, but he didn't answer. I don't think he was home. What did you do all night? I couldn't sleep, so I tried to read a book, but the dog's barking kept distracting me, so I just watched TV. I would be so angry. You should have called the police. I didn't want to bother the police with a barking dog. I would have called them. What if there was an emergency at your neighbor's house and the dog was trying to alert someone? That's true. I didn't think about that. But this dog usually barks because he's bored. That's annoying. I know. Hey, Carol, is that your neighbor? He's walking towards us. What is he holding? It looks like a plate of cookies. Hi, Helen. What's wrong? I couldn't sleep until three o'clock in the morning. Why? What happened? Our neighbor's children threw a big party last night. The music was so loud. Wow. Where were their parents? They are on vacation. They left the kids home. How old are the kids? They're teenagers. They're old enough to be home alone. Did you complain to them? Yes. I went over there three times. I told them that their music was too loud and we were trying to sleep. What did they do? Nothing. They wouldn't turn the music down. That is so rude. Why didn't you call the police? I finally did. The police found some of the teens drinking alcohol. I bet that ended the party. Yeah. Now my neighbors are heading back home from their vacation. Do they know what happened? Yes, they are not happy. Those kids are in big trouble. Hello, thank you for calling Dr. Smith's office. How can I help you? This is Eleanor Johnson. I'd like to make an appointment to see the dentist. Will this be your first visit? Yes, I haven't been to the dentist in a while. I'm afraid of going to the dentist. Oh, you will like Dr. Smith. He's very gentle. That's nice to hear. Is there anything wrong with your teeth? I have a toothache. We have an opening tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Do you have anything this afternoon? My tooth hurts very much. Uh, we are very busy this afternoon, but I can squeeze you in around 4 p.m. Does that work for you? Yes, 4 p.m. is perfect. Do you have dental insurance? Yes, I do. Okay, please come in 15 minutes early to fill out some forms. Okay, I will be there at 3.45. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We'll see you soon. Bye. Hi. Are you new to the apartment building? Yes. My name is Monica. Nice to meet you, Monica. My name is Paul. I live on the third floor, apartment number 305. I live on the fourth floor in 405. Hey, you live right above me. That's funny. I hope I'm not too noisy. I've been moving furniture around. That's okay. It doesn't bother me. Have you met any of the other neighbors? I've met a few people. Everyone seems friendly here. Yeah. Every month we have a party on the rooftop. It's a potluck, so you can bring a dish to share. That sounds fun. I love parties and potlucks. Our next one is on Saturday at 5 p.m. You should come. I'm bringing my famous pasta salad. Sounds delicious. I'll make a chocolate cake. I love chocolate cake. I can't wait to try it. Thanks for letting me know about the party. There should be an invitation in your mailbox. Everyone gets one. I better check the mailbox then. I still have so much unpacking to do. Do you need help moving any more furniture? No, my brother helped me last night. I'm done with the big items. I just need to unpack pots and pans and dishes now. Okay, let me know if you need help. See you at the party. Hey, Joe, have you seen Sandy? No, Bill. Why? We had a misunderstanding, and she is not talking to me. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I said something silly and hurt her feelings. What did you say? It's not important. I don't want to discuss it. I just want to apologize to her. She always hangs out at Linda's house or the library. 
I've already checked both places. How about her house? Her roommate said she wasn't home. Have you called her cell phone? Yeah, several times. She must really be mad at you. She was. She stormed off, and I didn't get to explain what I meant. I'm really curious now. What did you say to her? I told her to exercise. Well, that probably wasn't a smart thing to say to a woman. I meant that she should exercise to stay healthy. That sounds better. Hope you find her. Jane, how was school today? Mom, it was fun. I made a new friend. That's nice. What's her name? Her name is Cindy. Is she new to your school? Yeah, she's a new student. She moved here from Seattle, Washington. You have an aunt who lives in Seattle. I know. I like Seattle. It's beautiful there, but it rains too much. Yeah, that's why we're staying in sunny California. Cindy and I have a lot in common. We both like drawing, playing with dogs, and eating pizza. You should invite her over for dinner one night. Can we, Mom? Sure. We can order pizza. Maybe I'll ask her if she can come over on Friday. Okay. Let's invite her parents too. We can get to know them. That's a good idea. They don't have any friends here yet. What are you doing today? Hi, Peter. I'm taking my son to the bank. He got his first paycheck yesterday, so we're going to open a bank account for him. That's a great idea. Yeah, I hope this will teach him how to save money and use it wisely. We did that with our kids too. Is he excited about it? Not really. He wants to spend it all on video games. Well, it's his first paycheck, so I'm sure he wants to spend his own money. I understand that. He knows he can spend it any way he wants to. I just want him to be able to learn how to save some too. Yeah, I totally understand. My first son spent his whole paycheck each time. Now he doesn't have anything saved. My second son saves and saves. I'm hoping Jonathan saves and saves. Now my older son always borrows money from his younger brother. Wow, does your younger son loan him money? Yeah, but he adds on interest. That's funny and smart. He's like a bank. He wants to be a banker one day. This is giving him great experience. Yeah, but not a great relationship with his brother. Hello. Hi, John. This is Stephen. What are you doing tonight? Hey, Stephen. Nothing much. I don't have any plans yet. Do you want to hang out? Sure. What did you have in mind? I don't know. It's Friday and I'm bored. Want to go to the movies? Is there a good movie to see? Let's check the internet. Okay. Let me log on to my computer. Do you want to see a comedy or a drama? Nothing sad or depressing. I had a hard work week. I want to see something funny. I agree. Work was stressful for me too. There aren't any new comedies right now. I only see dramas and horror movies. Yeah, that's all I see too. Hey, let's go to the comedy club. My favorite comedian is performing tonight at the local theater. That sounds great. What time? It starts at 7 p.m. Let's do dinner too. Good idea. I'll meet you at your house at 5 p.m. See you tonight. Hey, Jason. Do you play any instruments? Yeah, I play two instruments. I play the piano and violin. I wish I knew how to play an instrument. You don't know how to play any instruments? No, my mom gave me piano lessons when I was a child, but I hated it, so I quit. I took piano and violin lessons when I was a child. How long did you take lessons? Ten years. Wow, you must be really good. My mom wanted me to go to a music college, but I wanted to be a doctor. Really? Yeah, my mom was a famous violinist in China. My dad was a famous pianist in China. You come from a very talented family. Thanks. What instrument do you want to learn? Guitar. Oh, I don't know how to play the guitar. We can take lessons together. I wish I could, but I don't have time. Hey, Joe. What are you doing? Hi, Mark. I'm getting ready to send a package. Do you need to go to the post office? Yeah, but the line is usually very long. Where are you sending your package? Overseas to Korea. 
Is it a big package? Yeah, some books and clothes for my nephew and nieces. That's nice. Do you think the line will be long today? I think so. Today is Monday. Most people go on Monday since the post office is closed on Sunday. You're right. Maybe I should wait until tomorrow. I think that's a better idea. Thanks for reminding me. I don't like waiting in long lines. Me too. Do you want to go have lunch instead? Sure. I'll be right back. I'm going to put my package away. I'm taking a pottery class. Cool. What have you made so far? A bowl, a vase, and a mug. Do you like the class? Yes. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to make each member of my family a cup. That's nice. It's going to be their Christmas gifts. Is it hard to do? It was hard at first, but then I got used to the pottery wheel. What made you decide to take a pottery class? I like taking lots of different classes. I get bored. I wish I could take a class. I'm so busy with work and school. Maybe one day after you retire, you'll have some time. Retirement sounds great. It is, but it can be boring. I always have to find something to do. You must have a lot of hobbies. I do. My hobbies are sewing, quilting, scrapbooking, and now pottery making. Wow, you must have a lot of great homemade items. I do. My closet is full of them. Hi, Billy. How was your first day at a new school? It was okay, Mom. Did you make any new friends? Yeah, a boy in my class. Is he nice? What's his name? He's cool. His name is Brian. He plays soccer. You love soccer. You were on the soccer team at your old school. Yeah, I miss my old team with Ted, Mark, and Richard. I know you do. Do you want to invite Brian over to play one day? Sure. He rides the school bus on our street. Do you want to start riding the school bus too? Yeah. Then I can meet more of the neighborhood kids. Okay. Let's plan for you to ride the bus tomorrow morning. Brian said the bus comes at seven forty-five. Then you need to wake up at seven o'clock. I know. I'll set my alarm. Hey, Robert. What are you doing here? Hi, Kevin. I need to buy some stamps. What about you? I was checking my post office box, but my key won't work. Do you know why? I think they canceled my account because I forgot to pay. That's too bad. Yeah, I used it for my business. How long have you been waiting? I've been here since eight a.m. That's thirty minutes. I know it's been a long wait. There are still several people ahead of us. Many people left. They were tired of waiting. I don't think I can wait either. I have a dentist appointment at nine a.m. I'm going to wait. I need to reopen my account. Yeah, I understand. I'm going to come back later. Okay. See you another time. Bye, Kevin. Hey, Jeff. Are you okay? Hi, Dad. Yeah, I'm just a little sad that we are selling my childhood home. I know. I'm sad too. But it's just too big for your mother and me. I understand. I just have a lot of memories here. Me too. This is the first home your mother and I bought. Do you remember all of our holiday parties here? Everyone came to our house. Of course, I remember them. Those were the best times. Now I'm married and have a family of my own. I wish we didn't have to sell it, but we can no longer take care of it. We're getting old, and it's too much work. Do you know who bought our house? A young couple with two kids. They seem like a loving family. Where will you and mom go? We found a beautiful small condo a few blocks away. That's nice. Will there be enough room when the grandchildren visit? Yes, we have an extra room for guests, so your kids can stay over any time. Where's mom? She's at the fabric store. She wants to sew new curtains for the condo. Hi, Carol. What are you doing? Hi, Jane. I'm making a shopping list for the supermarket. I need to go too, but my car is at the repair shop. What's wrong with it? Nothing serious, just an oil change. Do you want to join me? Sure.
Which one are you going to? ABC Grocery. I have coupons for that market. Let me check my purse and see if I have any coupons too. You can get good deals on a lot of things if you have their coupons. I know. I use their coupons all the time. So, do you have any? No, I think I used them all. Where did you get your coupons? They came in the mail today. Have you looked in your mailbox? No, not yet. I'll go do that right now. What time are you leaving? Don't worry. I can wait for you. Thanks. I'll be right back. Hello? Hi, Sue. This is Linda. Are you free for lunch today? No, David is sick today. He couldn't go to school. That's terrible. Is it a cold? Yeah, I think so. He has a cough and a sore throat. My son Billy was sick last week, too. He missed four days of school. Wow, I hope David isn't sick that long. There's a virus going around. We need to stay healthy, too. I know. I've been taking extra vitamin C to stay healthy. Good idea. I think I'll buy some today. Do you need anything at the store? Actually, I do. I couldn't go to the store because I didn't want to leave David alone. I understand. What do you need? Could you please buy me a whole chicken? I want to make David some chicken soup. That's a great idea. I'll drop it off on my way home. Thank you so much. I will pay you back when you drop off the chicken. Okay. I'm going to go to the store after lunch. I will be at your house around 2 p.m. Great. See you then. Don't forget to buy vitamin C. Hi, Susie. Where are you going? Are you taking a trip? Yeah, I'm going to Chicago. My sister just had a baby. I'm going to be helping her for a couple of weeks. That's so nice of you. Did she have a boy or a girl? A girl. Her name is Rose. What a beautiful name. Yeah, she is named after our grandmother. My daughter is also named after my grandmother. Her name is Marie. That's also a beautiful name. Thanks. Is this your sister's first child? Yeah. This is my first niece, too. She's also the first grandchild in the family. How special. I know. My mother is so excited. She only lives a few blocks away from my sister, so she will be helping a lot, too. That's wonderful. It's nice to have a lot of help with your first child. Yeah, I agree. Well, I better go now. I have to be at the airport by 1 p.m. Okay, see you in two weeks. Hello? Hi, Cindy. This is Sally. Are you busy this Saturday? I will be working until 5 o'clock. I'm throwing a birthday party for my sister, Allison. Would you like to come? Sure. I would love to. What time is the party? It starts at 5 o'clock. Okay. I will be a little late. I'll try to be there as soon as possible. Great. Where is the party going to be? At my house. What can I bring? No need to bring anything. I'd like to get her a gift. What does she like? That isn't necessary. I really want to. Does she like music? She loves music. What kind of music does she like? Pop, jazz, hip hop, classical. She likes pop music. Okay, I have an idea. Thanks. That's really nice of you. See you on Saturday. Hello? Hi, Linda. This is Stacy. Are you free tomorrow night? No, I'm not. Why? I'm inviting a couple of friends to sleep over. I wish I could go, but I have to babysit my younger sister. That's too bad. We were going to rent a movie and order pizza. Now I really wish I could go. That sounds like so much fun. Can your parents find another babysitter? No. Our regular babysitter got sick, so they asked me. I see. What time will your parents be back? 9 o'clock p.m. Do you want to come over after you finish babysitting? Will you still be awake? Of course. It's a sleepover party. We're all going to sleep late. Okay. Please save me some pizza. I will. See you tomorrow night. Hi, Carol. Did you get a new car? Hi, Jane. No, this is a rental car. I was in an auto accident yesterday. Are you okay? Yeah, my back hurts a little, but luckily I wasn't seriously injured. 
Did you go to the hospital? Yeah, I went there this morning. The doctor took some x-rays. Nothing is serious. I just have some bruises. I'm glad you're okay. Was there another car involved? Yeah, the other driver rear-ended me at a red light. Wow, is he or she okay? Yeah, he seemed okay at the scene. This could have been a serious accident. I know. We were both lucky. Where is your car? Is it getting fixed? No, it's too damaged to be repaired. It's at the junkyard now. That's terrible. Is your insurance going to pay for a new car? Well, it was the other driver's fault, so his insurance is going to take care of it. That's good. Are you going to buy the same type of car? I think so. I loved that car. It protected me in this accident. I like your sports jersey. Thanks. You must be a fan, too. I am. I went to that college. Really? Me, too. What year did you graduate? 2000. I graduated in 2004. What was your major? I studied law. I studied law, too. I'm Matthew, by the way. I'm Karen. Nice to meet you, Matthew. Are you going to the game tonight? No, I'm going to watch it at home. I have an extra ticket. Would you like to go to the game with me? I'd love to. We can watch our college football team win tonight. Okay. What about dinner first? Sounds great. I'll meet you at this coffee shop at 5 p.m. Okay. See you tonight, Matthew. Has bus 47 come yet? No, I think it's late today. Do you ride this bus every day? Yeah. Do you? Not every day. Only a couple of times a week. Well, I think the bus is late today because of the rain. Oh, does the weather make a difference? Yes, the bus is usually several minutes late when it rains. Because of bad traffic? Yeah, and probably because of car accidents. That makes sense. I must have picked the wrong day to ride the bus. Actually, I think riding the bus on rainy days is better. Why? Then... You don't have to drive in bad traffic. Someone is driving for you. You are totally right. I'm going to check the weather from now on. I'm going to take the bus when it rains. Then I'll see you here at the bus stop. Great. It was nice talking with you. Yes, it was. I think our bus is coming now. Did you watch the soccer game yesterday? Yeah, I watched it at the arena. You went to the game? Yeah, I went with my co-workers. It was a good game to watch. It was really close. I know. We were all screaming. The crowd was out of control. Were people getting angry? Yeah, it was getting a little scary. The security guards came and escorted someone out of the arena. Why? He got really drunk and was cursing at everyone. That's crazy. People like that always ruin the fun for everyone. I agree. He was out of control. He threw beer on a stranger. Wow. The stranger stayed calm, but it was a good thing security came. I would have been so upset. Yeah, everyone was getting really upset at the drunk guy. That's why security was called. Sounds like it was an interesting game. It really was. I don't know if I want to go to another game for a while. At least our team won. Hey, Steve. Where are you going with all that baseball gear? Oh, hi, Bob. I coach my son's baseball team. We're having our first practice today. How old is your son? Eight years old. He's been playing baseball for a couple of years. Does he like it? He loves it. This is my first year as a coach. I'm pretty excited. It sounds exciting. I used to play baseball in college. What position did you play? Pitcher. But I had to quit because of a shoulder injury. That's too bad. Do you miss it? Not anymore. I'm too old to play now. My son is a pitcher, too. Maybe you can give him some tips on how to throw. Sure. I'm always free in the afternoon. We have our first game next Saturday. Would you like to come and watch? That would be fun. What time is the game? 10 a.m. Okay. Can I bring my wife? 
Of course. My son is taking his driver's license test today. Is he nervous? He's a little nervous. It's normal to be nervous. I told him that. He just wants to pass the test so he can start driving to school. Does he have a car? No. He has to share with my wife. Are you going to get him a car? No, not yet. First, he has to show us that he is a responsible driver. Did your auto insurance go up a lot? Yes. Our insurance rate doubled. Wow. Are you serious? Yes. That's what makes me nervous. I don't know how we'll be able to afford insurance when my younger son starts to drive. When will that be? In two years. Better start saving, or better have your sons get part time jobs. I think I like the part time job idea better. Hi, Jill. What are you doing?